Fedora 43 has arrived with some significant changes that mark a new direction for this popular Linux distribution. This release brings a complete shift to Wayland only GNOME, major improvements to package management with DNF5, and several new applications that replace long time defaults. Today we'll explore what makes Fedora 43 different, who should consider using it, and whether these changes improve or complicate their user experience. Fedora 43 ships with GNOME 49 in a Wayland only configuration, meaning the traditional x11 session option has been completely removed, the Anaconda installer has been significantly updated with DNF5 integration and improved user interface elements. Intel TDX support has been added for confidential computing scenarios. Two major application changes include Showtime replacing Totem as the video player and Papers replacing Avens for document viewing. These changes represent Fedora's commitment to modern technologies and improved user experiences. The Anaconda installer in Fedora 43 represents a significant evolution from the previous versions. The integration of DNF5 as the package manager backend provides noticeably faster package resolution and installation speeds. The installer interface has been refined with improved partitioning tools and clearer hardware detection feedback. Navigation through installation steps feels more streamlined with better progress indicators and error handling. The disk partitioning interface offers more intuitive controls for both automatic and manual partitioning scenarios. Hardware compatibility detection has been enhanced, providing clearer feedback about potential issues before installation begins. Installation time has been reduced on most systems with DNF5 backend handling dependency resolution more efficiently than previous version. The installer also includes better support for various storage configurations including encrypted setups and complex multi-disk arrangements. The most controversial change is the elimination of X11 sessions for GNOME users. When logging in, only the Wayland session appears as an option. This decision affects compatibility but brings significant benefits. Multi-monitor support is more reliable, fractional scaling works better, and variable refresh rate handling is improved. Most modern applications run natively on Wayland, while older X11 applications use XWayland for compatibility. Gaming performance under Wayland has been improved considerably with Steam and most games running without issues through XWayland. Screen sharing works in most applications, though some proprietary software may require specific Wayland compatible versions. Users who depend on X11 specific automation tools or specialized software should test compatibility before upgrading. The benefits include better security isolation, smoother graphics performance, and more stable multi-monitor configurations. Variable refresh rate displays work more consistently and overall desktop feels more responsive during graphics intensive tasks. GNOME 49 introduces practical improvements to daily workflows. The lock screen now displays media controls allowing users to pause, skip tracks, or see current playback without unlocking the system. Optional sort down and restart buttons on the lock screen provide convenient access to power options. The quick settings panel has been reorganized with do not disturb toggle move for easier access. Multi-monitor setups benefit from independent brightness control for each display addressing a common user request. The files application received significant attention with a redesigned search interface introducing featuring filters and date range widgets. Visual feedback improvements include transparency for hidden files and dashed borders around caught files, making file operations clearer. The settings application include accessibility improvements with an Orca screen reader toggle in the accessibility panel making these features more discoverable for users who need them. Fedora 43 replaces two long-time default applications with modern alternatives. Showtime becomes the new video player, replacing Totem with a more responsive interface and better format support. Video playback feels smoother, syncing is more precise, and overall user experience represents a clear improvement over the previous solution. Papers replaces Evans as the document reader, built entirely in Rust using GTK4. This rewrite delivers noticeable performance improvements, especially with large PDF files. Page rendering is faster, zooming is smoother, and source functionality responds more quickly than before. Both applications represent a move towards modern, maintainable code bases that should 
provide better long-term support and feature development. Users familiar with the previous application will find similar functionality with improved performance and reliability. DNF5 integration extends beyond the installer to system-wide package management. Package operations complete faster, dependency resolutions is more efficient and error messages provide clearer information when issue occur. The improvement is noticeable during software installation, updates and system maintenance tasks. Graphics performance benefits significantly from well and only operation. Cursor movement remains smooth even when applications experience performance issues thanks to the improved VRR cursor decoupling. Fractional scaling produces sharper interfaces without the blurriness that plagued earlier implementations. The system supports higher bit depths for compatible hardware including 10, 12 and 16 bit color depth. Multi-monitor configurations handle different refresh rates and scaling factors more reliably than previous X11 based setups. Intel TDX support enables confidential computing for compatible hardware providing enhanced security for sensitive workloads. This feature targets enterprise users who require additional security guarantees for their computing environments. The Wayland only approach may create challenges for specific use cases. Users who rely on X11 specific screen capture tools, automation scripts or specialized software will need to find a VLAN alternatives or workarounds. Some proprietary applications may exhibit different behavior under XVLAN compared to native X11 operation. Remote desktop solutions might require reconfiguration to work properly with VLAN protocols. Certain older applications may experience minor compatibility issues though most software runs without problems through XVLAN translation. For users who require X11 functionality, alternative desktop environments like KDE Plasma or XFC still provide X11 sessions. The VLAN transition primarily affects GNOME users while other desktop options maintain backward compatibility. Hardware considerations include potentially higher resource uses on older systems though the difference is minimal on hardware from the last 5 years. Users with very old graphics hardware should verify well and compatibility before upgrading. Fedora 43 suits several user categories particularly well. Developers benefit from cutting edge software versions, modern development tools, and the latest libraries. The improved installer experience makes it easier for newcomers to get started with Fedora's ecosystem. Linux enthusiasts who want to experience emerging technologies will appreciate the well and only approach and modern application stack. Users comfortable with occasional troubleshooting and workflow adaptation will find Fedora 43 rewarding. Enterprise users requiring modern security feature benefit from Intel TDX support and improved security isolation. The distribution provides a preview of technologies that will become standard across the Linux ecosystem. Regular desktop users seeking a polished modern experience can use Fedora 43 successfully provided they don't depend heavily on legacy software or highly specialized workloads that require X11 functionality. Fedora 43 represents a mature step forward in Linux desktop evolution. The well and only decision works well for most users while providing real benefits in graphics performance and security. The new applications improve upon their predecessors and performance enhancement make daily tasks more responsive. This release successfully balances innovation with practical usability making it suitable for users who want modern Linux features without excessive instability. Fedora 43 offers an excellent preview of where Linux desktop are heading while remaining fully functional for current needs. And that's all for today so I hope you found this video helpful and if so please like and share the video. Subscribe the channel and turn on notifications for more Linux tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.